guess what, y'all? The big man himself is uh, not too happy with the up-and-comer. So Trump is furious over Ron DeSantis stealing from him. That's a quote, quote, stealing from him. So let's see what they say here. According to a report from Rolling Stone, former President Donald Trump has been alternately raging and ridiculing Ron DeSantis as the Florida governor has been rising as his heir apparent. The former president, as well as his family, have been sniping at the Florida Republican by claiming he has been stealing from Trump, by which they mean he has been appropriating Trump's mannerisms when giving speeches as he sets in motion his bid for the 2024 GOP presidential nomination. Now, let me pause here to say, Trump has never been more correct in his life. (laughs) Trump's family has never been more correct in their life. Ron DeSantis is 100% doing it. It's not even debatable. It's the most obvious thing in the world. Go watch any press conference with Ron DeSantis, any speech given by Ron DeSantis, and he has all of the exact same hand motions that Donald Trump does. Every single one. He is biting his style like nobody's business. It is unbelievable. According to Rolling Stone, uh, Asuin Subsang, in the past few months, Trump has repeatedly ridiculed DeSantis for ripping off the ex-president's style. As one Trump associate told Rolling Stone, there was this time, maybe a year ago, that I remember him making fun of DeSantis for doing similar hand gestures and motions. He called it stealing from him, and to paraphrase, described it as a lame impression of Trump. The report adds, Trump has a distinctive and much satirized way of gesticulating while casually talking, delivering political speeches, or even firing contestants on his former game show. The source, the sources note that when Trump has seen video clips of DeSantis speaking at public events over the past year and a half, the former president has scornfully mocked the ascendant Florida Republican for appearing to imitate Trump's body language movements and even at times speaking rhythm. One of the other sources recalls Trump joking at a dinner event earlier this year that he'd ought to sue DeSantis for copyright infringement. Adding credence to their complaints, longtime GOP donor Dan Eberhardt suggested... DeSantis certainly mimics Trump's style, rhetoric, and body language. DeSantis's bombastic style seems to be ripped straight out of Donald Trump style guide. Trump proved that Republican voters want a fighter, and DeSantis aims to deliver. Uh, Subsang adds that Trump, who behind closed doors trashes DeSantis as charisma-free, has even toyed with launching a 2024 presidential campaign near the governor's mansion in Florida, which would double as an obvious effort to troll DeSantis. The ex-president has been taking stock of who he feels is sticking with him and who might defect to Team DeSantis in the Fox News primary and has singled out hosts and informal Trump advisors like Laura Ingram as possible future defectors. This is juicy, man. I love this. I love this so much. So here's what Trump doesn't do. Subtlety. Here's what Trump doesn't do. Nuance. So this dude is crafting a list. Hey, here are the people who are going to flee me at some point. And, um... You know what he's going to do? He's going to preemptively go on the offense against them. Laura Ingram, you got a target on your back. You have a Trump target on your back. And so you better watch out, dog, because it, he ain't going to pull punches. If he, if he, if he smells that, that pivoting towards DeSantis, oh, it's a Rapskis. It's a Rapskis. And so I love this. I love that there's going to be a civil war in the Republican Party because Donald Trump demands total and complete loyalty. And look, you have to say in the past, this approach from Trump to like be ruthlessly aggressive against anybody who crosses him, even 1%, it has been effective. And so you mostly get right wing media and Republican politicians falling in line. But now it also does breed resentment in the sense that behind the scenes, all these people are done with Trump. They're annoyed with Trump. They don't want Trump to run. They think he's hurting their, their general election chances. All that is true as well. So there's the public line and then there's the private line. And nobody is a better example of this than Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell tries as much as he can to like appease Trump publicly, but behind the scenes, he's like, motherfucker, why can't we get past this guy? This is fucking crazy. And so, um, look, this criticism, though, of DeSantis, you have to say, is totally accurate. DeSantis is a total Trump ripoff. Um, but honestly, that is the thing that a lot of people like about DeSantis. They say, look, he's Donald Trump minus the crazy. He's just as bombastic. He's just as aggressive. He has the same optics. But... He doesn't ever seem to overreach in the same way that Trump does. And DeSantis is also a master at surfing like the anti-woke wave in right-wing media where like he always does just the right things that gets him the positive press and sort of insulates him from criticism. And he's made sure to never go after Trump 
um, which would open Trump's ire against him. By the way, there was another story. I don't know the specifics of this one, but I was reading a, a tweet thread the other day that said in one of the um, fundraising emails that Trump and his team sent out, they took a shot at DeSantis. This is like the first time they ever took a shot at DeSantis. And apparently, they got a lot of backlash over it. They got a lot of backlash. And so, and look, this again, this was Trump's strength in 2016 when he ran. He was never the person who threw the first punch. He always counterpunched. So that made people feel like, hey, people are sort of treating him unfairly and he's just reacting to them, right? He never threw the first punch. But in this instance, Trump and his team threw the first punch at DeSantis. And so he got the backlash against him. And people were like, well, what are you doing? This guy, he's doing a great job and he's been a great governor and all that stuff is totally not true. But we're talking about within that right wing bubble. Um, and so it'll be interesting, man. It'll be interesting. I would love to see them run against each other. I would. I would love to see that. You have to say, according to the polls, Trump is the favorite by far. And DeSantis would have a tough line to walk because how do you differentiate yourself from Trump without pissing off Trump's most sycophantic supporters? But anyway, um, there you have it. Donald Trump and his family is 100% correct. Uh, DeSantis is totally ripping them off. And the thing that frustrates them the most is it's kind of working. And he really is Trump's heir apparent, even more so than Don Jr., who honestly rips off his daddy worse than Ron DeSantis does. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.